pandemic has forever changed the earth as we know it. COVID-19 has got a deadly swathe, slicing through humanity, infecting, killing and sickening millions. Cloaked in its viral and invisibility, until we fought back with the weapon of necessity, which is the mother of invention, creating vaccines, fighting this cataclysmic global crisis, which was met and is being defeated by uniting the best of humanity, epitomized by fighting spirit like no other. Sports and mainly boxing is a brilliant example of this fortitude. In the midst of the darkest hour, beacons of hope shine brightly, guiding us out of the long unwinding murky tunnel. Oscar Valdez kneeling in front of Miguel Berchelt, asking his opponent and also his friend if he is all right. The magnanimity of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Once the dust has settled, an epic passion schooled. Julio Cesar Chavez proudly passing the torch of Mexican boxing greatness to the new generation, led by Canelo Alvarez. Dillian White caringly helping defeated rival Alexander Povetkin. Canelo Wells earned sheer Red Mars greatness. Ilunga Macabu running in the streets of the Congo in the years and decades following from the rumble in the jungle. On, the heartwarming embrace of momentary rivals, but forever friends, Jackie Nava and Mariana Juarez. Delivery of the WBC belt to Preacher Colon, who's titanically fighting back with all his heart and soul, each and every day. It is difficult for me to accept that my time as a boxer is over. The end of a historic era with the retirement of Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Today, I am announcing my retirement. The WBC created Freedom Belt, celebrating June 18th day. And the fight for peace in Russia, starring Alexander Vesputin and Mauricio Pintor. These iconic images depict the greatest feelings, displaying our deepest emotions. It's what makes boxing so magnificently great. It defines our finest moments at our supreme best. It's simply us and who we are.